a data scientist from Microsoft. Um, today, I will share with you the topic of jumpstart machine learning with pre-trained models. Uh, the session will have two parts. First of all, I will walk you through a brief introduction to Machine Learning Hub and then deep dive into a sample model pack in R using Carol's Deep Learning Framework. Uh, through this session, uh, you will be able to understand the concept and the functionality of Machine Learning Hub and then understand the reproducibility of pre-trained models. And finally, we will learn how to build a simple image classification model with convolutional neural networks using our interface to Keras. Uh, now let's get started for the first part. Uh, what is Machine Learning Hub? Machine Learning Hub is actually an open source project and a resource for sharing the pre-trained machine learning models. Um, the models are assessed and managed using a ML command from the ML Hub Python package. The models collected in the ML Hub.ai uh, uh, ML Hub archive are listed as some packages on the ML Hub.ai website. And the models themselves can be freely uh, browsed from the main pool. And as what you can see on all those screenshots of those websites, if you are interested now or having the laptop now, you can um, browse the link https uh, mlhub.ai from your browser to have a look at it. Uh, why we are going to use Machine Learning Hub? Um, Machine Learning Hub is actually a framework which provides a platform and a tool to make the process simpler for data scientists uh, to share and discover the pre-trained machine learning models uh, that address various scenarios in machine learning community. It also offers an user experience with the product for data scientists to try out a new algorithm or a uh, new approach very quickly. Um, how we are going to use Machine Learning Hub? Uh, the M Machine Learning Models repository collects together an archive of pre-trained machine learning models that can be readily shared for individuals uh, to download and to demonstrate a model in action. Um, the ML command can install the pre-trained model locally, ready to run a demo to print and display the model and to score new data using the pre-trained model. Some of the model pack can even provide the ability to retrain the model with the user-provided data. As what you can see in the right panel of this slide is a quick start to guide you to use the ML Hub command line tool. Um, the command line interface ML Hub can um, be now uh, in, can be now uh, installed using the PyP by just typing the command pipe install ML Hub. Once you install uh, the tools, you will be able to run the sample rent tomorrow model, assuming that you have the open source packages installed on your local machine. And then you can run through all the uh, commands listed uh, in this website to try out the rent tomorrow example. In this model pack, actually, we just built a very simple decision tree pre-trained model and applies this pre-trained model uh, to predict the chance of rain tomorrow. Except for discovering and trying out the statistical or machine learning models, the more important value of machine learning hub is to uh, leverage the reproducibility of pre-trained deep learning models. Uh, deep learning models are by nature highly reposable. Uh, you can take, say, an image classification or a speech-to-text model trained on a large-scale uh, data set and reuse it on a, a significant different problems with only minor changes. Uh, specifically, in the case of computer vision, many pre-trained models are now uh, publicly available for download and can be used to bootstrap uh, powerful vision models um, on a very little data. 
Uh, nowadays, there are many R packages available, which enable us to uh, build deep learning models. For example, we have the MXNet, uh, CNTKR, TensorFlow, Keras, and the RX neural network, which provided by the Microsoft machine learning servers. Uh, today, we will be only focusing on a very simple sample model pack, image classification. Uh, with convolution neural network using Keras. Uh, the model pack is actually built on top of the RStudio tutorials. The image classification is a very common and challenging technical problem in computer vision. Um, the problem can be extended to various scenarios uh, in many industries, including it can be applied in product recognition or brand detection in retail, uh, chest X-ray detection or cancer detection in healthcare, currency recognition in finance, or product recognition in manufacturing. Um, the models that we used to solve the image classification problem is called convolution neural network. Uh, the concept of convolution neural network are introduced in the early 1980s. Uh, the thesis behind a convolution neural network was to be able to detect an object with an image independent of its position uh, within the frame, its rotation or its interaction with other objects. The basic principle of a convolution neural network is to transform an image uh, into a matrix of value using this numerical repre representation to segment the image using a series of special neural network hidden layers which expose both the depth of the image and the orientation of the pixel and use this to detect the patterns. Um, this kind of model has a lot of uh, advantages. For example, it uh, has the state of art performance it's learns complex and hierarchical features, and it learns from scratch without too much effort in feature engineering. The tools that we use to implement the convolution neural network is called Keras, which is an uh, R interface to a high-level neural network API. Uh, Keras, which uses the TensorFlow as the default backend. Um, the combination of the TensorFlow and the uh, Keras in R enable us to make experiment deep learning neural networks from idea to result easier than ever before. Um, in the demo that I will going to show, uh, the dogs versus cats data set from the Kygo computer vision competition or uh, Microsoft research was used to train a deep learning model uh, predicting the probability of image uh, belonging to dogs or cats using a pre-trained convolution neural network. Yep. So actually now I will going to open the deep learning version machine and uh, to show you a live demo of how to use the machine learning hub to manage those pre-trained models. Uh, first of all, we, uh, after install the ML hub tools, we can type in the command ML. It will show you all the supported commands to uh, manage those model pack. And then you can also type in the ML available it will show you all the available model packs on the machine learning repository. Uh, what you can see here is that the dogs versus cats model pack is already there. And we also have the movie recommender model pack, which used the uh, SAR package to do a movie recommendation. And then uh, you can use ML install to install the model pack that you uh, want to have a try from the ml.ai model repository onto your local init directory on your version machine. Uh, after successfully installed the model pack, you can just type in ml readme to check the basic information of this model pack. In our example, it will tell you that in this model pack, we are using the Kygo dogs, dogs versus cats dataset to build our 
uh, pre-trained convolution neural network model using Keras package. And then you can also uh, uh, type in the ML configure command to install and configure all the R package dependencies that uh, you will need to run through uh, this model pack. And uh, then we can type in the command ML demo dogs versus cats R model pack. This this command will enable you to apply the pre-trained convolution neural network on the testing data set, uh, which you have already know the uh, label of these images. Uh, then it will, uh, and finally you will obtain the predicted class of these images, as well as the uh, model performance metrics, for example, the loss, accuracy, and the, the confusion metrics. Uh, here we also highlighted the errors when you are doing the prediction. Uh, finally, we can also type in the command ML score uh, to launch a shiny application, which enable you to uh, select the new images that you are going to uh, score, and finally get the prediction result. Uh, Okay, that's all the demo that we are going to show. Let's back to our slides. Okay, so after having a look at the real demo, uh, I will going to show you what is inside our model pack to support all those of the functionalities. Actually, once you have opened a model pack, you will see there are several uh, necessary files inside the model pack. Every model pack should have a, a description YAM file, a, a readme file, and a pre-trained model file, and several R scripts with the same names as the ML commands, which support the corresponding functionalities. And if you want to uh, have a close look at how uh, this pre-trained model was built, then we can just open uh, all those of the R script uh, in your model pack to have a close look at it, how we uh, define the carrier sequential model and how we train the model using the image data generator and how we predict the image class uh, and evaluate the model performance using carrier's packages. Uh, to go deep, to have a deep dive of the codes, you can just go to the uh, GitHub repository, which we put all the model packs there. Okay, so uh, in the end of this session, I will going to summarize some of the key takeaways. Uh, first of all, uh, ML Hub is an open source platform and tools for data scientists to share, discover, uh, reuse pre-trained machine learning or deep learning models. Uh, it does not depend on any of the languages or IDEs. For example, RStudio, uh, Jupyter Notebook, or, uh, or the Visual Studio uh, team services. And it supports bo support both R and Python, uh, which enable uh, all of the organizations can be easily integrate the pre-trained model into their production system. And both the uh, enterprise and the community contributions are very welcomed and crucial to build such a kind of the collaborative uh, ecosystem and platform. Uh, all the repositories and the resources to help you jumpstart machine learning with the pre-trained models could be found on the following links. Um, welcome to have a try and our, all of our available model pack, and welcome to contributions. Uh, here I just uh, show you the website that, th this is our main web page for, uh, to introduce the machine learning hubs, which listed all the GitHub repositories. If you want to change or uh, contribute to the common light tours, then uh, you can go to the ML Hub repository 
And for any data scientists who are interested in contributing any of the machine learning or deep learning model packs, uh, you can submit some uh, pull request or commit to the ML models repository. Yep. So that is the end of our uh, sessions. If you have any questions, I will be happy to answer. Thank you.